iPhone 15 is Apple's beast model flagship iPhone and then over here we have Samsung's newer going more premium model Galaxy F55. To be exact, let's go ahead and see which one could come out on top. Let's begin with overview first keep in mind on iPhone we do have ourselves 6 GB of RAM you have to go pro to get the 8 GB RAM. And then on Samsung we do have 8 GB of RAM as well which is higher than that of the iPhone 15. But we also have the Exynos 1480 that is a 4N CPU. The Samsung is basically going more flagship with its premium build but how much better have they gotten the performance that's what want to find out for just everyday usage talking about the security the face unlock on the iphone 15 is a very fast and snappy reliable face unlock and just like the other iphones it also works pretty well in dark light situations so i like that now the galaxy a55 it takes a second sometimes like it's not super fast i did try to fool it with a picture i wasn't able to do that so that's good but I still wouldn't count on this as my main secure method but pretty slow there to use that face unlock. Now the fingerprint sensor also if you don't hold it long enough you can miss this pretty frequently. I also have to be honest with you I find this fingerprint sensor way less reliable than the S24. It's just slower and it's just not as quick once you get the hang of it though it's pretty good. But overall you can still probably unlock this if you're not looking but I generally think the 15's unlocking method is a little snappier just because of the slowness of the A55. So definitely pretty decent nice to have those options but the iPhone's a little quicker. I think they're running iOS 17.4.555 to a 120Hz panel. It still runs pretty flawlessly on the iPhone 15. Everything is consistent even if it's not the smoothest look of a 120Hz. So I don't really have major complaints there. Now the Galaxy EF55 I really am impressed that you get a super smooth 120Hz panel at this price points point also having all the Samsung features. I think it's a really nice touch if we go to display. The adaptive motion the problem though is if you go into standard it just gets horrible it doesn't look very good. You want a new phone new battery and you just don't want to go look for a scratched up beat up phone and take a chance there is other ways to get around that like certified refurbishment stuff like that. But you know that is a good option. A 2 year old flagship probably still a better option than the E55 but for some people they still just want the cheaper phone. They don't care so it's good that we have options whether you want one or not. Let's go into 3D Marcos. There are people that do want one or else. They wouldn't keep making this phone faster. Let's talk about the cameras. You all know the iPhone always uses the best quality cameras but on the other side of 55 is also using good cameras in my opinion. If you are a person who prefers the detailing on the photos then 15 is a good option cause the A55 do not works much on detailing. Anyway that's going to wrap it up here for me with the iPhone 15 versus the A55 clearly the 15 with the victory. But I think the real conclusion and conclusion I'm coming to from this video over last year is that the A55 is performing better. It feels a little smoother has better animations as it should and it feels more premium for sure so it's a nice step up from a 54. Still not reaching you know near we might have to go for S23, FE, S24, FE to be more competitive but overall it's a nice upgrade from last year's F54. And I just wanted to see how I perform next to a flagship. So thumbs up if you enjoyed this budget versus premium comparison. It is YouTube and consider subscribing for more Ali here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace.